everybody and welcome to the Tennessee State Museum story time with Miss Morgan. It's great to see you guys again today. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day so far. So today we'll be reading The First Strawberries, a Cherokee story retold by Joseph Brock, pictures by Anna Wojcik. So some of you might recognize this book because it is part of the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. I hope everyone enjoys it today and let's get started. Long ago, when the world was new, the creator made a man and a woman. The two of them were made at the same time so that neither would be lonesome. They married and for a long time they lived together and were very happy. See their house right there. So inside their home, it looks like they're doing some things together. So it looks like the wife is shucking some corn and it looks like the husband is sewing something. So they're working together to keep their house. Then one afternoon, the man came home from hunting and found that the woman had not yet begun to prepare their meal and said she was out picking flowers. Look at these yellow flowers. Aren't they beautiful? The man grew angry. I'm hungry, he said in a cold voice. Do you expect me to eat flowers? Now the wife too became angry. She had picked those flowers to share their beauty with her husband. Your words hurt me, she said. I will live with you no longer. She turned to the west and began to walk toward the sun. Her husband followed, but her steps were too quick. He could not catch her. He called her name, but she could not hear him. He went as fast as he could go, but his wife was much faster. See how far ahead she is of him? She's keeping on walking. She's walking towards the sun. Let's see what happens. The son watched as the husband followed her. The son saw how sorry the man was and took pity on him. Are you so angry with your wife? asked the son. No, said the man. I was foolish to speak angry words, but I cannot catch her to tell her that I'm sorry. Then I will help you, said the son. The sun shone its light down on the earth, and in front of the woman where the light shone, raspberries grew up. The berries were ripe and looked good to eat, but the woman paid no attention to them and continued walking. See those ripe raspberries right there? They look pretty good. The sun tried again. It shone down and blueberries grew. They glistened brightly in the sunlight, but the one paid no attention to them. She only walked on toward the west, leaving her husband further behind. Now the sun tried a third time. Where its beams touched the earth, blackberries grew. They were dark and plump, but the woman's anger was too great, and she did not see them. Two of my favorite fruits are right there. At last, the sun tried its hardest. It shone its light down in the grass right in front of the woman's feet, and strawberries appeared. They glowed like fire in the grass, and the woman had to stop when she saw them in front of her. Look at those red ripe strawberries. She knelt down and plucked one and bit into it. She had never tasted anything like it before. Its sweetness reminded her of how happy she and her husband had been together before they quarreled. Quarreled means to fight. I must gather some of this fruit for my husband, she said, and she began to pick the berries. She was still picking them when the man caught up to her. Forgive me for my hard words, he said to her, and she answered him by sharing the sweetness of the strawberries. So it was that strawberries came into the world. You see that they're sharing right there? It's very nice. To this day, when the Cherokee people eat strawberries, they are reminded to always be kind to each other, to remember that friendship and respect are as sweet as the taste of red ripe berries. You see the Cherokee village down here and the strawberries that are planted? The end. So friends, do you see this basket right here? 
We have some baskets that look very similar to this in the Tennessee State Museum's collection. They're really cool and they're actually part of our art today. What I'd like you to do is to create your own basket to collect your strawberries or blueberries or blackberries, whatever you want to collect in your basket. So this is my basket right here. I thought I tried a lot of different cool patterns on there. So this is my basket, but you can make your basket any way you want to. And our last thing for today is since our story was about the Cherokee people, I thought we'd learn how to say hello in Cherokee. This is how you would write it out. And it is OCO. OCO means hello in Cherokee. So let's practice. O C O. OCO. Great job, you guys. So today, when you see someone say OCO and tell them about the Cherokee strawberry story we read today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you soon at story time. Bye, everybody.